Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick tutorial on two things that I happen to know a lot about. Masks and gloves, okay? Um, I've used them for decades because A, the particles in uh, uh, the paint that I use, everything from toxic chemicals to sanding, wood sanding, okay? So, quick rundown real quickly. These are active carbon filters, okay? These are the next step up from the medical grade ones you see the people running around with that are just plain white, okay? It's a, th it's a three to eight layer system in there. If you cut this in half, you would see all these different layers of filters. Filters with paper is nothing more than the weave in different directions that the fibers run. It catches particles coming in. The finer the weave, the more it traps, like you hear about HEMPA filter, okay? This is a great mask, RZ makes it. Uh, I personally use this for just quick grabs and sanding in the shop. Um, I don't like it because I slap it on and it goes around your neck like this and it eventually hangs down and pulls off your face, okay? And I find myself in this position more than not. One I love and I use mostly for pollen out here in Texas, Arnium, okay? Not only does it kind of look cool, but it goes over the ears, okay? And that's okay. You see this everywhere, right? I actually hate the ear one because it pulls the ears out. This one has a bonus. It's a strap that goes around and connects, okay? So it's pulling it to your face, keeping this tight. This is the bugaboo. If you, can, if, you, if you have a mask on, and I've seen people in stores with it on, and I could see down it, it's doing nothing. That's why they said, don't have a false sense of security. It was dumb to say, don't wear masks, okay? Because it's gonna offer you some protection. Next level, vapor masks. That is for vapor. So to, to give you a quick rundown and understanding because we hear about viruses and the um, N N95 filter filters up to 0 0.03. Okay, what is that? It's a number, right? It's crazy. All right, so that's a measurement in microns. To give you a quick rundown, um, hair is going to be between 30 and 400 microns. That's a hair, human hair, okay? Um, tobacco smoke is gonna be between 0 0.001 and 0 0.04 micron. That's smoke in the air that you see, okay? Which it's not a, a vapor or a gas, it's a smoke, it's actual existing. And then viruses are from a 0 0.005 to 0 0.03. Yeah, 0 0.3, okay? That's a virus, that's what the big thing is. These will hold up to the 0 0.03. Next level, vapor, vapor masks are these guys. Good luck finding these. Um, they were everywhere for about 10 years and now everybody snatched them up. They are vapor filters. They will filter gas, okay? This is great, this is better. Same filter, actually the cartridge is probably better on this one. Soft, nice, easy to wear, not a big deal. I feel like I need to start designing and painting on these, don't I? All right, uh, quick rundown now on gloves. Okay, you see a lot of people with the medical grade gloves running around. Hey, those are fine. Uh, if you find them, wear them, but they're not super strong. You're grabbing shopping carts, you're grabbing fruit, pineapples. They'll tear them, they'll cut them, they'll open. You're grabbing cases of waters or things. They'll tear these gloves, all right? These gloves are great. If your medical stores don't have them, guess what? I'll give you a couple little tricks. Go to your automotive store. Automotive stores sell the little more hardcore ones, okay? They're more, they're stronger. I use these a lot in the wood shop, okay? Unless I get stabbed by a pencil or a something, I've never broken one of these, okay? These are great. My favorite ones, Venom Steels. Okay, um, most of these gloves, these little th thin ones and medical grade gloves, okay? The measurement in mil, they're a 0.3 mil, okay? 0 0.3 mil, eh, it's good, it's great. These guys are a 0.8 mil, and you can feel it, man. It's a heavier glove, it's thick. It's a two-layer system as well, okay? These are my favorite, these are my go-to. In our day and age, if you got a box, you wanna keep a box, okay? They're meant to be worn and thrown away. People don't like throwing them away because you're not finding them again, okay? Listen, do yourself two favors. Number one, if you're out of these hand sanitizers for your skin, understandable. But look, if you have empty bottles of this, if you have a spray bottle, empty it, or you have normal home use spray bottles, take a teaspoon of bleach, 
Pour it in there with water, fill it up three quarters of the way. Leave it, shake it up, carry it in your car, check it out. When you get done shopping, using your gloves, don't touch things, don't touch, we'll go into that in a second. Take your glove, hold it out the window, spray it, spritz it, that bleach on it. Do your best not to get it on your skin, it will burn eventually. Rub the glove with the bleach, okay? Take your glove off carefully. You don't need to rip it off, you're not in a hurry, you don't have anything to do these days. Take your glove off, put it down, okay? Here's what I love to do, I love to double protect. So, I don't wanna tear all my gloves, so what I do is, favorite company in the world for gloves right there, Vicos. Thin gloves, um, get yourself some gloves. You can get regular uh, mechanical, me mechanics wear gloves, these are fantastic too. They're just a little bulky and clunky. Um, don't get gardening gloves, those are annoying. Get tool gloves. Makita, Milwaukee makes them. They make some great ones, Milwaukee does. They're just thinner gloves with leather. These guys, it's not a leather, it's more of a woven material, but I put my glove on, then I put my glove on. Nice and tight, right? So you got double up protection. You're not gonna puncture this, tear this. So this handles the rough stuff, and this will handle anything, nothing's getting through this, okay? All right, guys, um, that's about all I got for you. Look, be safe, be smart, be hard.